Mr. Chairman, I nominate the name of Frini Jinwala as Speaker of the House. Thank you. A first on many counts for the Democratic Post Apartheid South Africa's inaugural parliament. The path funding role that Nelson Mandela gave Frini Jinwala spoke to the esteem in which her comrades held her. I accordingly declare Dr. Frini Jinwala duly elected Speaker of the National Assembly. The one-time lawyer and journalist respected for her incisive mind was the ANC's obvious and only candidate for the position of the Speaker of the National Assembly. I deem it a great honor to be elected Speaker of this, the first democratically elected parliament of South Africa. At the same time, I'm conscious that it is a grave responsibility. For the first time since its opening in 1910, the previously white-only institution represented all South Africans. These former adversaries, now sitting together in a transitional government, were responsible for the turning of apartheid South Africa into a fully-fledged democracy. Under the capable leadership of the sharp-minded, feisty black woman. As the speaker, the Johannesburg-born activist is credited by her comrades for playing a critical role in the drafting of the constitution. Franny had to create the job, had to build on the job. She could look at some other experiences, whether it's the British Parliament or US Congress or some other parliaments in other parts of the continent. But in the South African context, she had to create the job. And I must say that I think she did a remarkable, she did remarkable work in laying the basis for how the Speaker of the National Assembly should work and should operate. Looking back at Jinwala's decade-long stint as Speaker, this exile comrade showers much praise on Jinwala's tireless work in laying the foundations for one of the most acclaimed democracies in the world. She would guide us, she would help us whenever we needed some things, some information. She was very traveled and very well known because she, she had met a lot of people. She knew many women outside, she knew many men outside, she has worked with people of of a very high caliber, yeah. So that um, I think her, her, her guidance in Parliament helped very, very much because it was, our, it was a, a, the first experience to quite a number of us. She was outstanding, I must say, yeah. When to, to, to those who, to, to us now, when we look at Parliament, well, naturally in many cases, you, you do have that thing of trying to, to, to compare the people. But I think, unfortunately, which is natural with every country, amongst other things, we have a lot, even in Parliament, who have a, who still have a lot to learn. Have no so must option. go is the one who must go. We yes. have no option. We have no option. He must address the but nation from prison. The character of this assembly must become the voice of the people of South Africa. Jinana's role as South Africa and Africa's first female Speaker of Parliament inspired a generation of women. You've got a corporation, you've got a business environment, which is made to suit men, which is made on the assumption that somewhere at home, a woman is doing the work. She's providing the food, the laundry, looking after the children. That's what allows the man to spend eight hours or whatever else and rise in the corporate ladder. You've got to change the work environment You've got to make sure that women with family responsibilities are actually able to climb up that ladder. Jinwala is also credited for paving the way for many women, showing that women can also lead. At the end of her 10-year reign as Speaker of Parliament, her successor paid tribute to her. Dr. Jinwala was part of it all. She made her indelible mark Dr. Chinwala, I salute you.
Over six decades since the historic Women's March, the words on these days embody what Freni Chinwala and the women of a generation fought for. These were women of first, whose sacrifices have led to the South Africa we see today. Zinzi Swamani, SABC News, Union Buildings, Pretoria.